Hello everyone and welcome back to the arena. I'm Ness and with me is uh, Basilisk. Uh, so we're seeing almost two mirrors, uh, two almost mirror uh, comps. So can you tell me about these uh, compositions, uh, Bas? Yeah, so as you say, they're both very, very similar. They've both got these three Nighthawks, three Orthruses. Um, they've chosen for different logies. Suskers have gone for the Scimitar, while Revolution have gone for the Basilisk. But in the low end is the difference is Revolution opting for three Garmas. Um, whereas Tusk is opting for a Vigil and two Skybreakers. But if I'm Revolution here, as they were saying on the desk, I'm very, very concerned here because Tusk is obviously a very, very, very high-skilled team. And if you're in a nearly identical comp, um, it, it possibly doesn't bode well. Yeah, that's my exact thought as well. Uh, Tusk is some of the best uh, pilots in this uh, tournament, and you don't want to go to the mirror setup because then it depends so much on the uh, piloting. Like the only difference is the choice of the large ships and the choice of the uh, frigate wing. Uh, all this in a uh, collection uh, in, uh, in the Gamu are taking a bit of damage, but that the Basilisk uh, of Jace Basilisk Basilisk is just taking down. chunks. He's just getting hard volleyed straight through by the Orthrus and Nighthawks. There's so much damage on the field here from these command ships and Orthruses, um, and they just go straight through him. It's like he wasn't even there. So I think like this is something they're not really aware of is the chasing uh, missile effect. So as you are chasing someone and they're shooting missiles at you. Due to the travel time of the missiles, you're effectively uh, extending their range. So even though some of these ships might not be in the missile range or the basilisk, the fact that the basilisk is burning into the missiles just meant that got so many missiles just hammering down and uh, now there's offers going down. Yeah, and I have to question what these Garmas are doing for um, for Revolution. I mean, this is the main difference in these two comps here. Revolution have brought these Garmas. They're fast. They've got long-range scrams. And they need to be going in and tackling something to, because that's their only advantage. That's... That is the difference between these two comps. They need to leverage, make make some use from that advantage that they've brought. And these Garmas are just sitting at the back doing the square yeah, root of nothing, not, to be quite honest. I, I'm just looking at the speed of the Garmas. They're like doing, uh, like, uh, oh, now it's finding someone going fast, but some of them are like moving really slowly. I was wondering if they AB, maybe the dual prop. But at this point, yeah, what uh, what are they doing? Like They have already lost so much stuff before they got in. Yeah, and I say it, I say it frequently. It's, it's so much so often about decisiveness you have to you know you sit on the grid for however long you know a minute or so before the match starts and then it's it you go and if you if you're slow to act at the start it can bite you in the ass really really hard and revolution here with these garments um this like i said this was their their main difference between these two comps was them having these garments and they they were not, not decisive whatsoever they just sat at the back and waited and if you do that you're you're not using your strengths you're not using your ships they might as well not have even been on the grid yeah, it looks like the Orphus Pontic uh, burned in at the front of the um, Tuskers team. He's trying to go for that Vigil. The Vigil did survive, and now the Orphus is paying for it. There's no logic to keep him alive. And he's just going down as the Tuskers team have focused all their attention on him. Yeah, they may be able to take this Vigil, but of course, as well, another factor of this mirror kind of comp is their comp does basically the same thing as yours. If you're in this matchup, you know that their capabilities are very, very similar to yours. So if you just have less ships than them and they're all the same ships there's it's not really possible to expect an outcome that that comes out with you on top if you've got you know two nighthawks and an authoress that revolution currently does and tuscas still has three nighthawks and three authoresses your the maths isn't gonna isn't gonna break for you you simply cannot win that matchup so you need revolution really really needed to be decisive at the start of this match and make something happen with those three garmas and they simply failed to do that and that's that's i think what's yeah, I, it's a critical this, factor in their loss here uh, this is probably the most one-sided match we had today and it got decided in the first 10 seconds of the match uh, you can see the tuskers team are burning back they're there waiting for a good opportunity while the uh, revolution team are just burning straight at them and they're really giving tuskers the big advantage by doing that since there's someone who's going to be in the front that they can shoot and they are going to abuse the missile effect, and you are going to have a hard time shooting back because now the missiles have to chase their targets instead of the target coming towards them. And it, like, as, as you saw, it cost them the basilisk just going right away. And uh, as also, as you mentioned, that these gammas like, they didn't make much of a play. They're the last ships to die. Uh, that's not how you're supposed to be when your uh, target ships in the, are really like offensive uh, setup like this. And the match is already over. Good, good job to Tuskers and sending back to the studio.